people are now talking a lot about personalized medicine, and I think this is really important in ALS. ALS is likely not one illness, and therefore uh, one drug for everybody is probably not going to be the solution. What biomarkers can do is help us identify what biology is happening in an individual person and then target treatments much better to that person as well as in different phases of the illness. The technology to develop biomarkers exists now. It really didn't before, which is why we don't have any. But now between imaging and ways to look at um, stem cells from people and look at their blood uh, proteins, we really are starting to develop these signatures to be able to better tailor, uh, tailor our treatments. All this requires funding, and philanthropy is, is uh, so important to really speeding up the whole process. Biomarkers are important for a couple things. One is that they can help uh, diagnose people quicker. So right now it takes about 12 months from the first symptom to when someone's diagnosed with ALS, and that's way too long. Um, we want to get that down to three months, two months, so that we can start caring for people much sooner. I think we'll have much better success at really at being able to slow or halt the illness if we can diagnose people sooner. So it's really important to develop those type of biomarkers, whether that's going to be an imaging test or a blood, uh, blood test. So there's a lot of progress in that in ALS and people working all over the world on developing those type of biomarkers. The other way biomarkers are really helpful are to help us screen for treatments much faster. Every disease that has developed a biomarker of, of drug effect has seen a, an exponential growth in treatments coming up to the market for their patients. So there's a huge effort to develop those type of biomarkers. They're called surrogate biomarkers for ALS. So here at MGH, we have a huge program to develop those type of biomarkers using advanced technologies and imaging, as well as um, biomarkers in fluids, such as uh, blood or urine or spinal fluid. And uh, patients uh, participating in those studies uh, are enormously important so that they're helping push that field uh, forward faster. One of the ideas we'd like to do with biomarkers is called uh, a platform trial. This is where you have, let's say, five or six good ideas of treatments that are ready to bring to patients. And you can test them all in the same trial using biomarkers to tell early, within eight weeks, 12 weeks, is your drug going to work or not, so that you can keep bringing only the best treatments forward for your patients.